Hello everyone, this is Sally from Sally B Jewelry and I want to do a short little film on the uh-oh, one of my cords is too short. Um, so as you can see, most of the cords here are very long except for this one. It's way too short for us to finish this braid. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a darning, darning needle, which is a pretty stiff needle and it has a decent size hole. You're going to thread a new cord onto that needle. And for demonstration purposes, I'm using a different color so that you can see better what I'm doing. Um, so what you're going to want to do is make sure that the cord that is the one that you're going to be replacing is the next one to be braided okay and then what we're going to do is you're going to turn your disc over and you're going to take the needle and you're going to pierce the entire braid about about an inch inch and a quarter down from you know the braiding point and you're just going to wiggle the needle through you don't want to go in between you don't want to pierce one of the the uh, the beads itself because you'll break it but you're just going to pull the cord through hold it with your thumb while you do the next couple of moves and then you're going to turn around and you're going to go back through the braid And you're going to pull that tight so that you can't see the cord. Let me bring it up to the camera a little bit so you can't see that I did that. Then you're going to turn around again and go back through. And again, you want the cord to, you know, go into the center of the braid. And then once you've done that a couple of times, the next one we're going to pierce the braid only going through halfway and then we're going to go through the center of the braid and come out at the top so we're going to just pick a spot to go in and then you're going to go through the center and you're going to come out the other side And same thing while you're on this side, you're going to make sure, number one, that you don't catch any of your cords. And then you're going to pull it again so that the cord disappears into the braid, except for the little tail that you left out. And now you've exited the center of the braid. So then the one that you're going to be replacing is here so you're going to take the cord you're going to go under the cord that's crossing over the top and you're going to just move it into the slot that you're replacing and then you'll flip it over and where did it go here it is um, you're going to take the beads off of the short cord and load them onto the cord that you just weaved through the center. So I'm just going to load just a few beads here. Then I'm gonna, I'll pause the camera, um, you know, to, to finish the braid. But I'm just going to load a few just so you can see this next step. So I'm going to put my stopper back on and the cord that I just emptied out I'm just going to take it and stick it down the center like that okay and you're just gonna leave it there for now and then you're going to take your bead and braid it in just as though it was always there and you'll just continue on and what I'm 
going to do here is, um, just so that I don't bore you to tears watching me braid, um, I'll give you a quick, quick peek that, you know, you can't really see at all that I've loaded in, um, you know, that I added in that other cord. And I'm going to pause now. I'm going to finish the braid and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up. Okay. All right. Well, I am back. And as you can see, the braid looks pretty normal except for these two cords sticking out. <laughs> so what we're going to do is the red one, we already did the going back through the, um, the braid a few times. So that one we could just cut off as close to the braid as we can. And this was the original short cord and we're going to thread that up and basically do exactly what we did on the other side is that we're going to sneak the cord, the needle through the braid making sure that we pull it and hide it in there. Then you're going to turn it around and you're going to go back through in the opposite direction. Making sure that you pull the cord. You'll almost hear a little snap as it goes past the two beads that you're going in between. And once you do that a couple of times, you can cut off the excess. And if you have a, um, a thread burner, um, I would go ahead and zap the little teeny nub that you'll you'll see sticking out because you can't get the scissors in there close enough to nip it um, as close as you can. So a little um, thread zapper and that cord will just disappear to the braid. But as you can see, if I turn it around, that it looks perfectly normal. You don't see that I've added the cord in there. So anyway, I hope you decide to give this a try for those few times that you find yourself with one cord that is too short. And um, let me know what you think. Um, this, it, this, this procedure could be done, you know, with other style beads, you know, the pips or the magatamas or whatever you have. But I wanted to demo it on a plain braid, um, which is the hardest actually to hide what you're doing. Some of those other braids where you have uh, different size beads, um, it's a little easier to kind of hide what a mistake that you've might have made. Um, but with the plain seed bead band, uh, it's a little, little bit more difficult to hide a problem. Um, but I think this method works pretty well and I do hope you give it a try. So anyway, this is Sally from Sally B Jewelry signing off. Have a great day.